Hey guys, Iota here, and today I'm doing sort of a tutorial video because I've noticed that a lot of people on YouTube and basically the Minecraft community in general um, who use a Mac don't really know how to install mods and saves and texture packs and all that good stuff. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So um, I've got two, these two lovely files here. The first one is an adventure map called The Flood. Um, you also have done it. It's a pretty famous map. Um, yeah, and uh, the second file I've got is a texture pack called Jollycraft. Um, this one's pretty good. Uh, it's basically a texture pack, and I've customized it for myself. Um, so basically, the first thing you want to do is go to, um, in the finder, you want to go to Go, and you want to press on your keyboard Alt. Um, see how I'm pressing Alt now? Um, brings up this little option here called the Library. Um, before Lion, uh, I think the Mac update Lion, um, uh, if you clicked on home, you would have had library in there, but um, you just have this now, so uh, they've kind of hidden it. So if you go to go, hold alt, and click on library, you're now faced with this menu here. Um, what you want to do now is double click on application support, then you want to, um, this is basically a menu of like all the um, applications that you can have support for and everything. Um, so basically what I'm going to do now is going to find Minecraft, double click on it, and um, just quickly close these two down here and uh, I've got this menu here called uh, Minecraft and you've got the bin, you've got all that stuff, you probably won't have um, this TMI, too many items stuff and um, all that stuff so the um, first thing I want to do is at the moment I have the standard Minecraft thing so um, the Minecraft jar so and what I want to do is see this one here it's Optifine what I want to do is get Optifine instead of the default Minecraft.jar so I'm going to get info for Optifine, uh, I'm going to delete the word Optifine so it's just minecraft.jar with one dot and I'm going to rename this dot backup because then I know it's um, a backup jar and it's like the original dot jar so now if I, uh, yeah, so that's Optifine, it's got all the Optifine stuff so that is now um, minecraft.jar and uh, if I run Minecraft um, basically it will have minecraft so uh, yep that's that uh, and then next if you want to install a uh, minecraft save you double click on saves and see I've got all these saves here and um, this one here if you've got all this stuff here um, like data dm1 and all that um, level.dat and all that weird looking stuff um, that means it's legit and it's ready to be put into this file here so I just drag it and drop it into that folder and you see it's appeared there so if I go on minecraft now um, I should have it, so if I log in, so it's loading, um, if I click on single player in a minute, if I click on single player, if I scroll down, um, I now have, um, see this map here, uh, if, whatever, I can't pronounce it, Chronicles the Flood, so that's that map there, as you can see it's there as well, um, so if I just close down Minecraft, that is how you get a save map. Um, so now the last and not least, uh, texture pack. So if you want to install a texture pack, I want to install Jollycraft, as you can see here. Texture packs is a little bit harder. Um, I've got all these texture packs, um, a lot of them for like Fallout, the adventure map. So what I want to do is I want to open up Jollycraft, but I've got all these things and I can't just drag them into there. So what I want to do is I want to right um, select all of them, right click, and I want to compress. Um, and then we'll get a little thing called archive.zip now that archive you can rename, I'm just going to rename it to jollycraft jollycraft um, so ok that's jollycraft and then what I want to do is drag it to there so that's in there, if I just close that, just delete that folder um, so yeah that's jollycraft in there, so I just close these down here uh, if I open up minecraft if I just log in As you can see, if I go to texture packs, I will have all of my texture packs. If I scroll down to uh, where Jollycraft is, there it is. Um, if I just click on it, I've got the Jollycraft thing. Um, and if I go down here, you'll see the adventure map I just put in. So that is how you put in adventure maps and all that good stuff. Um, so thanks, guys. This has been Iyeti. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.